Arthur Wellesley, 1st Duke of Wellington, May 1, 1769, September 14, 1852, was an Anglo-Irish soldier and Tory statesman. He is one of the leading military and political figures of 19th century Britain. Wellesley rose to prominence as a general during the Napoleonic Wars. The Duke of Wellington commanded the British Army which defeated Napoleon at Waterloo. He is regarded as one of the greatest defensive commanders of all time. He was twice British Prime Minister, serving as a Tory leader from 1828 to 1830 and a little less than a month in 1834. Wellesley was born into an aristocratic Anglo-Irish family. He was the sixth of nine children born to the Earl and Countess of Mornington. His siblings included Richard, Viscount Wellesley, 2nd Marquess Wellesley, and William Wellesley Pole. The Duke of Wellington was born on May 1, 1769, the day before he was baptized in St. Peter's Church, Dublin. He was most likely born at his parents' townhouse, 24 Upper Marion Street, Dublin, according to biographers. Arthur Wellesley studied at Eton and Brown School from 1781 to 1784. He disliked Eton, and it is unlikely that he actually said the Battle of Waterloo was won on the playing fields of Eton, a quotation often attributed to him. In 1787 he was gazetted ensign in the 73rd Regiment of Foot and assigned as aide-de-camp to Lord Buckingham. On Christmas Day, 1787, he was promoted to lieutenant and transferred to the new 76th Regiment of Ireland. In 1789, Sir Arthur Wellesley was elected as an MP for Trim in the Irish House of Commons. He sat in a parliament where at least two-thirds of the members owed their election to the landowners of fewer than a hundred boroughs. In 1793, he proposed to Kitty Pockenham but was turned down by her brother Thomas, Earl of Longford. In 1793, Wellesley was sent to Flanders as part of an expedition to bring reinforcements to the army in Flanders. In 1794, he joined the Duke of York as he was pulling back towards the Netherlands. At the Battle of Boxtel, he had his first experience of battle and learned valuable lessons from the campaign. Wesley Wellesley was sent to India in 1797 by his elder brother Richard, now known as Lord Mornington, to become the new Governor-General of India. In 1798 he changed the spelling of his surname to Wellesley, up to this time he was still known as Wesley, which his eldest brother considered the proper and ancient and proper spelling. Wellington commanded an Anglo-Dutch-German army that consisted of approximately 73,000 troops, 26,000 of whom were British, 30% of that army was Irish. The Battle of Waterloo was fought between Napoleon's French and Wellington's Anglo-Allied army at a site he had noted as favourable for a battle the previous year. On June 17, 1815, torrential rain severely hampered movement, and the next day, 18th of June, the battle was fought in heavy fighting over a valley near Brussels. The Battle of Waterloo began with a diversionary attack on Hougoumont by a division of French soldiers. After a barrage of 80 cannons, the first French infantry attack was launched by Comte de Lanz I Corps. Allied troops in front of the ridge retreated in disorder through the main position. During this struggle Lord Uxbridge launched two of his cavalry brigades at the enemy, catching them off guard and capturing two French Imperial Eagles. The French cavalry attacked the British infantry squares many times, each at a heavy cost to the French but with few British casualties. Ney himself was displaced from his horse four times during the fighting. Eventually, Napoleon resorted to a combined arms attack, using Bachelou's division and Tissot's regiment of Foy's division from Ray's two corps. Napoleon ordered Ney to capture La Haye Saint at whatever cost. Ney then moved horse artillery up towards Wellington's centre and began to attack the infantry squares at short range with canisters. This all but destroyed the 27th, Inni Skilling, regiment, and the 30th and 73rd regiments suffered such heavy losses that they had to combine to form a viable square. Wellington was now wide open to an attack from the French. Luckily for Wellington, Perch Eyes and Zieten's corps of the Prussian army were now at hand. 1,500 British foot guards under Maitland devastated two battalions of chasseurs with point-blank volleys before breaking them up in a bayonet charge. Mass panic ensued through the French lines as news spread, La Garde Recule. Sauve qui put. The guard is retreating. Every man for himself. Wellington then stood up in Copenhagen's stirrups and waved his hat in the air to signal an advance of the Allied line just as the Russians were overrunning the French positions to the east. What remained of the French army then abandoned the field in disorder. Wellesley was married to Kitty Pockenham in 1806 and the couple had two children, Arthur and Charles. The marriage proved unsatisfactory and the two spent years apart, while Wellesley was campaigning and afterward. Kitty grew depressed, and Wellesley pursued other sexual and romantic partners. The couple largely lived apart, with Kitty spending most of her time at their country home, Stratfield Say House, and Wellesley at their London home, Apsley House. 
Kitty died of cancer in 1831, and Wellington was said to have been greatly saddened by her death. The Duke of Wellington died on September 14, 1852, aged 83, from the aftereffects of a stroke culminating in a series of seizures. His body was taken by train to London and given a state funeral, one of a small number of British subjects to be so honoured. He was buried in a sarcophagus of luxulianite in St. Paul's Cathedral next to Lord Nelson. The Duke of Wellington's casket was carried in a stately home funeral procession by General Sir James Charles Chatterton of the 4th Dragoon Guards, on the orders of Queen Victoria. In 2002, he was number 15 in the BBC's poll of the 100 Greatest Britons. His battle record is exemplary, and he fought in some 60 battles during the course of his military career. The 33rd Regiment of Foot was granted the 33rd title as a result of links with Wellington by Queen Victoria in 1853.